The young boy was called Ming, and he lived in a small village with his parents. One day, while exploring the forest, Ming stumbled upon a magical paintbrush that was lying on the ground. Excited, Ming took the paintbrush back to his village to show it to his parents. However, they were not impressed and told him to return it to where he found it. Undeterred, Ming decided to keep the paintbrush and use it to bring joy to his village. He started drawing pictures of animals, flowers, and trees, and to his amazement, they came to life. The villagers were amazed and soon, Ming became famous for his paintings. He would paint anything the villagers requested and bring happiness to everyone in the village. However, one day, Ming painted a picture of a fierce dragon, and it came to life. The dragon terrorized the village, and Ming realized the consequences of his actions. He realized that he needed to be responsible with the paintbrush and use it for good, not just to bring joy to the village. Feeling lost, Ming turned to an old wise man who lived on the outskirts of the village. The old man told Ming that the paintbrush was very powerful and could bring both happiness and destruction. He also told Ming that he needed to use the paintbrush wisely and only paint things that would bring joy and peace to the world. Taking the old man's advice, Ming set out on a journey to correct his mistakes. He drew a picture of a powerful warrior to defeat the dragon and protect the village. The warrior came to life, defeated the dragon, and brought peace back to the village. Ming then returned the paintbrush to its rightful owner, a powerful fairy who had lost it many years ago. In the end, Ming was hailed as a hero for his bravery and wisdom. He had learned the importance of responsibility and using his gifts for good. The villagers lived happily ever after, and Ming went on to create many more magical paintings that brought joy to the world.